In the house today, we have Char, Char and Blazy. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the first time that we've had all the sisters together, except we're missing one, but That's she's not, not a two. Bitch. That's not true. Who's the other one? Angie? That's some shade. No, but that's also not true. What do you, you mean? You've had us on here before. No, we haven't. Yes, oh yeah, have. one of the OG episodes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? No. I actually forgot about that. I try to forget each episode rapidly after we- Shark completed. kept saying, I gotta get my radio voice on. Oh yeah. And then she Is kept dropping Ema's URL backslash donate. You wanna drop it again? <laughs> We're in the holiday season. Yeah, right? Giving Big campaign. Tuesday. Format. Giving Tuesday's coming up. No, actually, big Every campaign. EveryMothersAdvocate.org slash donate. Yep. <laughs> you got um, it. Uh, at underscore B-L-E-S-I underscore. No, That's I am Instagram. actually in charge of that. So yes, <laughs> actually open that up and click. Okay. Uh, um, welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining Char and Blasey. We had a journey to get here. We were supposed to start a while ago. This happens but, every time. Yeah, it does. But today just felt extra long, but maybe it's because we I was were, extra ready. You know why? Because we were practicing self-care. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. What were you doing? Yeah. I was in my Pilates. <laughs> like, I was in you my- You set yourself up for this. This is a humble brag. I was in my Pilates class. Worth That's it or not place. worth it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, she kicked my ass today. But I mean like- you're actually trying to cancel. Is this like you're no, on the machines, it. Pilates? Yeah. yeah, you're on the reformer. Yeah, the reformer. It's it's intense and I love it. It's very think, expensive, but I like it's very it. expensive. And do I you think you'll keep it. doing it? Um, yeah. But she <laughs> no, said no. You just told it's me like, you're well, it's just a faked workout style. She just said yes. she's canceling. Apparently, no, I'm surprised you're not doing it. Huh? No, wait. Time it was out. very Time expensive. Out. Time out. It is very expensive. But how much? I will how say much? This. Drop a number. Two fifty a month. Two twenty a month. For mm. how many classes? Well, technically unlimited, Unli unli but, but can they, I speak? I'm yeah. the one in place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the reason, like, but the reason why oh I'm my gosh. is because yeah. Blasey yeah. and I to go to host school. Blasey oh. and I were actually sold it together, and I was like, hell no. And Blasey was like, sign me up. I was like, hell yes. Well, who do you think's who do you think's no. healthier right now? Blasey. Well, I listen, don't know. I'm we walking. yes, yes, we did an intro oh, class. We did we did an intro class. We did an intro class together. Oh, you're I on loved the edge it. Of your seat. <laughs> She's got a story to tell us. She's got a story to tell. <laughs> um, I don't have any responsibilities. I don't have a husband. I don't have children. Why are you yelling? You I drive yelling. a shitty car. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> so my only res my only bill now, really, other than rent, is my Pilates membership. And okay. my therapy, but that's worth it. You <laughs> okay, that. you know what's really funny about that? So I just saw drop the new, um, a trailer for Inside Out 2. And it's so funny because they like it's, renovate the board and all of a it's sudden it's they anxiety. turn, yeah, they turn around yeah, and they're like, I who's the that. new emotion? And she's like, I'm anxiety. That's like you right now. I was like, oh my gosh. I remember that moment as a child when anxiety entered the room. Totally. <laughs> she's like, where should I put all my bags? <laughs> like, oh shit. No, they're but- all like, Quick, quick plug to Pilates. It's my type of workout. It's an hour long. It's unlimited, two twenty a month, and I love it. And it really works for me. Do you can I ask you a question? And I will keep going. I will keep going. Have you ever passed gas during Pilates? No, but I think about that. What a weird I don't know. question. I think about uh -huh. that. I think about other people doing it around me. It has to have happened. Wait, why are you asking that question? Is that a because it's a lot of normal. stretching <gasps> and like core exercises? It is. By, by the way, and stretching. your your legs are. It's not like that. And you're just your legs like, are literally like never, up in the air. You're like, no, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> No, it is. Wait, it is. Wait, like you're not what? even Chipotle before Pilates. No. Class. But like in yoga, that's never crossed my mind. I know. I just why it does no. just like the old downward dog. Yeah. <laughs> and and the instructor the instructor gets like right like huh? behind, like the instructor like will get right in front of you and like help critique huh? and stuff. And then I'm always thinking like, what if somebody farted on, like right now, you're so and like, close. What would is it you a guy say? or a girl? It's always a girl. It's always a girl well, at least or a, both. What would you say? Like, At least at my me? studio, it's a girl. Like, would you, would you announce, excuse me? <laughs> no. Or would you just let well, it go? Well, it's a room of, it's a room of probably- 10 people. Six, it, no, like 16. I think it's, I think it's eight or- it's, it's happening. It has oh, to happen just every time. A class. number, Blaze. Any number. I we would believe you no matter what you I said. Think it's, I think it's eight reformers <laughs> really on each care. side. I think it's 16. Okay, we got to move on from this no, conversation. No, hope, hope. <laughs> first off, we're first taking off, over this episode. First off, <laughs> you have to stop talking about What over do you want to know I more talk, about this? No, I want to talk about working out because I've had a lot of learnings lately too. Okay, what? And so have you. 
You walk more. Yeah, I do. No, no, that's not. No, here's you're my making con- fun of that, but that's a I'm huge TikTok trend right now. No, it's not a trend, ho. It's not a trend. Yes, it is. Trend. It has trend. its trend. own we have channel. All screaming. <laughs> Twelve thirty-three. Okay, what? Well. So when for my whole life, I went through this season of like my whole life <laughs> working out really intensely, like hit training or heavy lifting for like an hour, five times a week. And that was the way that like my body got ripped. So then I had like these highs and lows of we. <laughs> What's happening over there? Are you burping? Are you I'm Are looking you burping? at the volume because everyone's so loud. Okay. But now I feel like since having kids, I've been like all or nothing. So I'll go like four months really hard and then I'll drop off for half a year and then I'll go back in when I like, no, I have a trip coming up. So long story short, I've been doing 30 minutes, like three to five times a week and not going crazy, a lot of strength Mm -hmm. training and just like 90% clean eating. And Mm -hmm. it is like transforming my body. Mm -hmm. I can attest to that. Okay, I no because I agree. Like you and I would get on. <laughs> why, why is that weird? He's your husband. Of course no, he can. The way he said it in the deep voice. I can. At- I also can well, attest to that. <laughs> what? I can also. No, but to it's that. true. I'm like I. I just. I'm I've in a season that. of my life that I Fine can't. Ass walking by. I'm in a season of my life that I can't do this sweating bullets killing myself for an hour also, five like, times a week they're like hit jump training stuff is like kills your knees who cares it's anymore so bad for you it's, it's, over an extended period of time yeah, yeah. well and it's so impo- like or even, maybe get proper form even in my class it's Matt such loves a, ri- a good burp <laughs> e I hate this place. <laughs> it's really hard to talk on. A, it's really hard to talk on this podcast. I'm sorry. Is this just your guys' podcast? Yeah, we took over. Were you? But does that mean that literally no one else is allowed to speak? No, we can't speak over each other. Okay, what? What do you guys have to say about Pilates again? It's, We're like it, no. minute seven and Pilates talk. It's interesting because this class is filled with like women of all ages and men of all ages, and it's just so important of like just moving your body because mm-hmm. you can get so stuck in a routine <laughs> where you're just sitting and you're just like doing your, like your like most mundane things and you're not like moving your joints. Yeah. First of all, there's 16 people in your class. There's not women and men of all ages. Of I mean, us. I, it's me. No, no, no. I'm probably one of the youngest. And then the oldest in the class is probably in her 60s. Okay, don't really? interrupt me yeah. when I say this. A fun fact mine. about mom, she did- I'm saying fun facts. Okay. She did that class uh, for a year and it, she said it that's messed up her back that's and not her true. legs. <laughs> I said, don't interrupt me. That's also not true. She did, not do, a she did not do it for a year. She did the yeah. free trial, which was three months. I think she went once a week. The free trial. I think she was. She just doesn't like working out. She was confused with being sore, with mm. being. I'm in, like, mm. oh, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, my shoulder hurts. I'm like, no, mom, that's just you're sore because you were working out. I thought it was your mom's friend. It is true, though. I know mm. it sounds like such an oxymoron, but like moving your body. I heard a friend of mine say this uh, sitting is this generation's smoking mm-hmm. where yes. we are not active anymore. And like the more you can just do something every day, whether it's walking. <laughs> what? You can yeah. go, you're going like that. I, so I, I, I th- hold my hand. He's trying to hold your hand. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, okay. Let me say my one thing about I walking. Agree. I know you guys are mocking me about this, but we got a treadmill to do the third, uh, three, what is it? 12, three 30. Everybody knows what that is. If you don't 12 incline for three speed or whatever <laughs> at 30 minutes for 30 minutes. And then I will do, I will try to do legs, but like the tonal legs, that's like under 20 minutes. So it's 15 to 20 minutes. That's usually like, one to two sets of three ish mm-hmm. workouts each. And it's way more digestible. The walking I'm out of breath. Like if I'm all the way at 12 incline, I'm not like, I can't talk on the phone. Like I'm mm-hmm. like, and then you're walking like brisk, like briskly. That's where you want to be. And yeah, actually that's the heart rate. Okay, okay, let me tell you wh- how, why I got into this. So Steve started doing it around our neighborhood, which we have flat roads and he like, wasn't his his weight wasn't fluctuating for like a long period of time while he was doing this walking and I was like oh my gosh like that's kind of interesting mm-hmm. so then I started doing it and I noticed a difference in my legs my butt my wh- I mean everything like and then I would also do weight training a yeah. little bit just a little bit not like I'm gonna do 45 minutes yeah 
It was doable. It makes such a big could, difference. And on walking, I like miss it when I'm not doing it. I can sit on my phone or watch TV or like do something. It doesn't feel so ta- like, oh right. my God, overwhelming. I'm the you same way. You have to way. do something that's not overwhelming. Yeah. You're like, okay, I look forward to that. Okay. I completely disagree with that. We're going to get so lit up on, on our fitness take, by the way. Well, I men totally are very different this. than girls. No, I mean, but, uh, can but I, weight no, no. training. First of all, you guys have spoken for 20 minutes. I know, I have so I haven't, to say I this. haven't applied any of my opinion on this. Go because, ahead. Because Your I've turn. been on both sides of it, of like the extreme, and then I've been on the, ugh, but it's like, I just got to get through today and do something. Mm-hmm. I agree that there are like certain times in fitness where it's like, you know, you don't need to go 100% full throttle, kill yourself, can't recover, body's broken, kind of do what you're referring to. But I also believe that you need to engage yourself in fitness to where you're not on your phone and watching TV. And like, there's like the mental psyche behind it of like a challenging workout that's healthy for you to partake in. So well, I still do yeah. that for 20 minutes after I walk. The walk's like sort of my warm up, except it's, it's, it's extended. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. But uh, wait, wait, wait. One other thing about that is don't you guys all feel like there's ebbs and flows of different work? It's like we get really into one thing and then you have to like switch it well, up. That's why I really like Pilates. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would like to do you have, Pilates. Hey, lead back. Do you get some type of like referral fee? You would think I'm an ambassador. I would like to try Pilates because of that reason. I do think it works out muscles that you're not used to working out. Yeah. Well that it's, it's so much like core and also stretching and everything you're doing is a full, is a full body workout. Yeah. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. while you're squatting, you're doing biceps while you're doing like that. You're also stretching. Like it is so, and I also personally love, and a lot of people might disagree with this. I love being just showing up somewhere and being told what to do. Yeah, that's why I like the tone. Oh my yeah. gosh, I don't want to figure out my own circuit and like how many sets and what's working for my body. I want somebody to be like, do this, do it for 50 minutes. Yeah. And I will say, I lost my train of thought. And I will say, Okay, so (laughs) the reason why we are actually here is we are going to just dabble in. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. I have questions. Okay, continue. Charlotte is the host today. If you don't want to hit up my questions, though, then you have to come back and you don't want to do that. Why'd you got to say it like that? Yeah. Okay. You got to come back. I have some questions. And if this doesn't take up the majority of our time, then we can move into your whatever agenda you had. Char is fiery today. Okay. Let's go. What makes you angrier than it should? When you came in this room, Wait, you're just snapping at us. <laughs> my, like the arms on my hair. No. The arms on your hair started <laughs> standing up? <laughs> the hairs on my arms started standing up. And, and we all, all know like, you got a lot of hair on your arms. I know. One of our biggest view the shorts. arms on my hair. Um, um, my blood was boiling when you started snapping at me to answer that question. I wasn't snapping What's at the, you. Okay, wait. One at a time. What's something that makes you angrier than it should? Hope you first. I just answered. Um, <laughs> Steve and I used to fight about this, but he would like walk behind me and like slap my butt really hard. <laughs> and oh immediately I would just get enraged. Like that yeah, hurt like and it like jolted me and I didn't see it coming. And like, you think it's sexy and now I'm mad because like, I'm not, not into it, but like you want me to be into it, but that's not, I'm not into that. Like <laughs> don't hit me at any part of my body without me seeing you coming back. I'm going to start doing that. Too. But he's kind of like, Oh, <laughs> like I was doing it to be like sweet. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. But then like, do like a love tap. Don't like slap me hard where I like, like jolt. Do you, do you respond the same way when you get scared? Yeah, I do. Yes. You feel like it kind of well, instantly he's also, angry. Yes, he's also instantly, just yes. actually, bone. that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point yeah. is I instantly, like if someone makes me jump, or lower like, spot. For, like a split, like three seconds, I just like, what? yeah, it just makes me mad. And then I'm like, fine. You're, you're like, exactly you're like ready way. to like uppercut somebody. Yeah, that's a good one. It's but the I guess it's the it's the like getting all of a sudden by her husband that or fe- like scared being scared like yeah. jump jump scared like bo like, yeah don't do that why did you do that and then I'm fine. 
Yeah. Honestly, I started pushing, like hitting people when they do that. And so Lacey, they don't do give a different. No, answer. Lacey no, gave my that really was no, at. but that's like a one off. But like I was answer. surprised by how. No angry. different answer. Oh my gosh, it's giving me PTSD. I am like, you and I had the same moment. Where we were like, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's another one? Just normal day to day. Wait, look, come back to her. Um, I think she's just mad. Yeah. Do you have yours? I got a lot. Um, it has to be something with time. I'm trying not to say something specifically to you. Oh, it's okay. Because we like have, we interact the most. So, well, I said so. mine about my husband. This is a safe place. Honestly, I can think of more so, it, more, I it? more so can think of things I know that I do that make you angrier than it should. Okay, this is about you. Are you getting angry What right makes now? you I angry? Hate, this is um, making me angry. <laughs> I'm getting, getting angry. angry right now. I, yeah, I honestly, it's like I, I get angry how angry you get. <laughs> about things <laughs> this is about you <laughs> worry about your own self what makes you Probably angry like uh w- the way you answer the phone <laughs> oh my gosh matt it's not she did or, answer it's not oriented towards me it's just in your normal life she did answer something the that phone makes you angry oddly to me should. today um, but jolly how do you answer it the was phone? jolly but it was just like th- uh, you threw me off every single Wait. time you answer the phone today well Sorry. The, uh, the conversation had its limit no, no, no. And you answered the it. phone Wait, like that. How do you, <laughs> how do they feel like, because when you answer my phone calls, which isn't no. often, but when you do, it's, hey, blessing. No, because when I get a hold of get to the point and then we can get off. Also, very quick. you two are calling just about fun, stupid shit. Me and Shar, I'm calling to her about work or like other things. It's like 50, 50. Yeah. Usually when Hope calls me, she needs something for me. Yeah. And usually when Matt calls me, it could be a text. <laughs> but you don't like, respond to my text. Be a text. Matt, no, that's the, that makes <laughs> me angrier than it should. Every time he calls me, See, I told he you. calls me. That doesn't bother no, this me. Is, like this you is do that with me, me and I don't care. This is what bothers me. You call someone and I answer the phone. Someone's calling me. It's Matt. Hello. <laughs> hey. Thank you. But you can wait. just leave it right in the kitchen. Wait, wait, wait. What? What is it? <laughs> this is a smiley face. Okay, Le- Levi, I, you. you can shut the door. What did you guys order? We'll be out in a few minutes. Um, no, 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 go no, no, no. <laughs> Levi, you have to go out. We're almost done. Out, out in the kitchen. Do you have to, wait, 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 wait. Do you have anything to say? No, I got to cut this out anyways. Blasey, come Fart. on. Fart. Oh my gosh, I knew <laughs> okay. I was going to say something. <laughs> okay, bye, Levi. Shut the door. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> um, I, so oh no, Mal called me and I'm like, hello. And he's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't happen. What? Every time. Every I'm time. Like, okay. Yeah. The only reason I don't believe you is because I've had plenty of like conversations with Matt on the phone. It's never one time gone that way. And then he's like, I'm on my way home. I never do that. I'm like, okay. You can text me this okay. if you think okay, this is relevant information. When was the last time I ever just called you to him on my way home? Oh man, you can ask the team at Ema because every time you call me, I'm like, "Tell me, they Tell me know." One time, when was the last time to that? Also, I don't know. know. You this know week, Mama, like Papa, today. Papa used to do that with Mama because they didn't Aww, have like cell phones. Sweet. Sweet. It is sweet. It is Sorry, sweet. trying to be sweet. No, I just I got bashed be for being sweet. Yeah. Well, I did. It's He's like, like okay, it's almost like I'm on my way home. Like, it's almost like you know dinner? too much. You know too much. You're like, mm-hmm. I know too much. What you're okay, doing. so Matt doesn't have one. Can we move on from this? Because I feel like you're going very slow into this question. Do you have one, Char? Yeah. Okay. Um, like chewing. Oh yeah. Swallowing. You're sounds. annoying about that though. I can oh, be eating my God. cereal. Like, at some Mom, level, Mom, and in meetings, she'll flick her nails. I. What do, do I do? Anything? And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. You oh, have I, to stop I can, clicking I your can, nails. I can hear it. I can right hear now. It if I think about it, I do can you, hear it. do I do anything in meetings that? In like a in like a ASMR thing, <laughs> did I know? <laughs> just like eating, swallowing, chewing, drinking, chewing ice, yeah, but chewing gum. Some of that is like I, I, look at Matt. Oh my god! I, it gen on the way over here. He the way he was slurping out of his Red Bull. I was like, no, I'm very thankful that Steve does not. Steve is not yeah. like but care about not, that stuff. It's not a me thing. Char no, it is, is a Char the thing. most like. She hyper, she's hypersensitive to bodily sounds. Like yeah, if Matt was me. eating, I'm the yeah, like you're the problem. I can be in another room. Yeah. And it's like a carrot 
crunches when you bite it. Yeah, totally. I can't make that not happen. No. And then she'll come in the bedroom every now and then with peppers and peppers sauce them in bed. And peppers and sauce. Like what's the sauce? Yeah. Okay, like Blake, see, I have to be honest, Matt. That used to be inflicted on us when we lived with Shar um, growing up, and now you have inherited that. Yeah. So we don't actually like. I rarely yeah, get yelled get, at we, from Shar. Wait, would, wait, wait. I rarely get yelled at from Shar anymore, and you probably the same of eating because I'm just not really eating around Shar that much. Also, I don't you eat. are doing it all the time, and also, I'm sorry for that. I don't Sorry, no, but it's good. I don't eat like a chin, I like a chimpanzee. No, but Char is you? so sensitive that like if you're, it makes my blood anything, boil. Anything. I know, but I'm not the person who's gonna make somebody like that blood boil. But mm-hmm. Matt, like, it's I'm contagious for you because you get annoyed with chewing sounds now too. From who? Anyone? But the difference Me. is, the difference is, Charlie would punch us in the face. When we were growing up. Yeah. Can we ask and questions? she probably doesn't punch me in. Honestly, okay. she punch me all the time. If you guys could rid, twice. if you could rid the world of one fear, what would it be? Wait. Like war? I mean, this is like super serious. Yeah, <laughs> I feel well. like this could get yeah, really serious. Like war, like, like kind of, any kind of hate. Like that's a terrible thing. Why is it bad to be serious? No, it's not bad, but you don't like being I'm being serious. If no, we I just could named rig two things. Oh. the world of one. Fear. I wasn't thinking it was like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was thinking like sharks. I was thinking spiders. No. I was thinking <laughs> Matt's like, like spiders. War <laughs> and not even death, but like war no, and no, hate. This is mine. The fear of being alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's a good one. No, it's good. That's yeah. a very serious like, fear. Totally. And like being more confident. In your you could live your life fuller mm-hmm. if you didn't fear being alone. Yeah, totally. I agree with you. Oh, that was awesome. We're deeper than that. That was awesome. You guys just good job. Spiders and sharks. Like you just don't go in the water. Oh, two gingers. Um, one fear. Are you afraid of gingers? <laughs> what? Like how yeah. would it change We're the, the world? world of gingers? <laughs> how would it change? We're dying breed, Blasey. Don't be afraid of that. How would it change the world if you could rid the world of its fear of? Okay, no dying. He has to get out. Oh, guys. Ten minutes, go. Ten Here. more minutes. We're oh, almost done. Duty. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Fart. Duty, but but but. Oh. Levi, stop. <laughs> oh my God. Levi. He went hard. Levi, no. Oh, it's the end. Levi, A- the end. Ada's dad is going to hear you say he that. He said it's. He and said. he's going to be very mad. Ada's dad. He out. is. He edits out. these. Do you want to say hi to Ada? No, Get but out. he's going to hear you Run. say those dirty Run, words. Son. He had a hard B and a hard H. Okay. okay. Butthole. What emotion do you experience the most? Right now? Anxi- oh, anxiety. Anxiety. Okay, anxiety. Now wait. Yours. wait, 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 wait. Can I speak on that? It's funny fact. Funny fact. I switched it up. About Blasey is she is riddled with so much anxiety that she calls me this week and she's like, guess what I'm doing? I'm like, what? I'm going to a breast specialist to oh get checked God. for breast cancer. Why do you feel anything? No. Do you? Is it of a, like? Is it the right time in your age for you to go get checked? I'm no. only 26. You're just nervous about it. Like, is there something that came upon you to think to check for that? No. I just have this fear, so I'm going to get checked from. And they won't even give her a mammogram. They want to like. Talk to her first. Because I'm too Which, young. by the way. Because I'm too oh, young. Oh, but that is anxiety 101. Okay, that so you just the, created the that emotion. Right? The emotion. The right? emotion you, you experience the most is anxiety. Totally. No, she created that in Wait, her head. in the morning, here's my morning routine. I wake up, I have my coffee, I get back in bed, I open my Bible and my devotional, and I'm after my devotions, I have a check-in with God, and I say, where's my anxiety level at? It's usually really up high here. Like one out of 10, where are you at? Yeah, it's it's, it's a physical thing, I feel. It's like a sh- on my shoulders, yes. how heavy it is. Yeah. It's usually pretty heavy. Mm-hmm. Which is what, like one out and of 10, where are you usually at? Like on a, like on a good day, I'm on a six. <laughs> on a bad day, I'm at a nine. Why am I laughing? I just feel like you're always at like an eight. Yeah. On no, a regular like my basis. My average is eight. Yeah. But most of that you create your own. But like, self. like if I have not, if I don't have anything to be anxious about, then I'm, oh, I'm now I'm anxious about getting breast cancer. But like, that's just, mm-hmm. and now I have a specialist who I'm getting checked for every six months. I'm feeling better about and it. And wait till you find out how much that costs. No, my insurance covers it. Okay. Let's mm-hmm. believe that when um, I see it. And, um, they always say that. 
And honestly, I feel better about it. You know what though? We have we have family history. We've one aunt, but that's it. Our grandmother Which, I'm got 26. genetically no, let me just tested. Say this. Let me just say this. I'm 26 and our aunt who died of breast cancer died at 32 mm. and was diagnosed at 27. Okay. Uh, my emotion. No, like seriously. It was legitimate. Be, her, totally her, legitimate. Her life could have maybe been saved but if her, she got checked in a year earlier. We're going to talk into the mic. And our I grandmother got clearly. checked. I can hear all of you very clearly. Forget it. We'll move on. My emotion is predominantly happy. Hmm. <laughs> and, that, and that's why you and I don't get along. <laughs> that's it right there. Um, I mean, you know, and, I, and I think you, a lot of people can wait, 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 to hold me. on, hold on. Let me back up. You feel joy a lot. I am a glass half full. You have no reason to feel joy that much. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have a lot of reasons to feel joy. That's not true. I, I disagree. I think you have a lot. A lot you of have what? A full life. What? <laughs> you have a full life. Oh, I'm very aware of that. Number one. Number so two. You're optimistic. Do you? Yeah. You. I have to counterbalance you. I work with you. I'm very negative. Naggy. So <laughs> naggy. Naggy. She's so naggy. And I have to be like, no, we're totally going to raise $7.5 million. <laughs> In seven, in 30, 30 days. days. In point three seconds. <laughs> I mean, and that's not hard at all. And then, you know, and then when we don't do it, I'm like, well, obviously we didn't do it because of. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like, um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because we grew up different or my, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's my main emotion. Sometimes I feel anxious, but I don't know. I handle that differently. Than can I generally something? happiness? No, I would say, uh, can I? The emotion you feel the most. That was the question. The emotion I feel the most, the most is happiness. And every once in a while, I will feel a wave of sadness, like catch up to me. Mm-hmm. And then I have to like get through that few days. Usually it's right around my period. No, <laughs> and, Wait, and yeah. I no but I, I don't know. I, I just feel, I don't know. I think it's a, I think it contributes to a lot of things, but I am a, I do try to be a positive person on the world, but also like mm-hmm. if you think positively, I know this is so woo 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 woo, but like <laughs> when you think positively, I just feel like it comes out. Like I don't yeah. know. You're like very it, handsy to No, but no, when I you when you like weigh on yourself and you're negative on yourself and you're negative on other people, it comes out. And I feel like if I'm positive, it comes out. Yeah. Can I say something to you? No. Why do you have to hold my hand? Let's hold hands while I say this. Lacey well, like we don't touch. physically affectionate. No, she doesn't. I have She's, to say this. I, I genuinely envy you. And, I, I do and wish I you look, could get there. And I look up to you oh, for wow. that. I really do. Do you <laughs> agree with that? That I'm a positive person? I totally. You are mom. You are mom's daughter. You are mom in that. No, but mom can be like no, very but, dramatic sometimes. And I don't really. feel like I'm dramatic. You are like, yeah. You're, you, you're steady though. But you took that from I'm mom. I'm more steady. Yeah, I am steady. But I, I can be a little bit stubborn. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And you got but, the yeah. done. But you yeah. kind of always but know seriously. what you're going to get with hope. But I totally. don't think that's a bad thing. I think no, we live in a all. world where you thing. need that. And I think we have been, we have, and I'm not, I'm not hiding this. Like we have been blessed with, I don't mean like people listening might think like we're blessed Why do you keep with, saying like? Sorry. Matt. Um, people might think that we've been blessed with certain things that we haven't been. I, I really truly think we have been blessed with family with health with just like basic needs and i'm totally and i'm very conscious of that i think that's why we do the work that we do mm-hmm. and i think when you do when you live that life like you're like how else can i give and pour out and i wonder why if you this, p- she picked the serious questions I, me. I, but, but this I, is fine this is good no this is great the, okay we when you start a podcast, podcast can't always be Jokey, jokey. It's not totally. jokey, jokey. Wait, and I, I think, just want to talk about Christmas. I think the way you are is a really great example of like, but, a, <laughs> nobody wants to hear about me though. They want to hear about like topics no. that they also have opinions on or, the, or that topics they can relate to. And I think something is really true about you is that you resemble a very great trait of like a firstborn daughter. Well, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I say another thing? Like I you do, are, okay. wait, wait. I would say like, it starts steady and that's you. It starts Stetson, but take Stetson out of it. You are super steady, and then it gets a little less steady. That's Charlie. Then it gets really unsteady, and that's me. Like biologically, well, you have one more step, but yeah. But um, no, but, but jeans, let me let me just say this. And I, you wait. You oh like gosh. really hold the tone 
Okay, but In let me opinion. say this one last thing, and then Matt can say something. I have one more question. Or Char. For this. Um, I, I, I do feel the weight to make sure everybody's happy. And sometimes I have to let that go because number one, no one's ever all going to always be happy. And two, um, that's something I put on myself to like, kind of be the, like, I have a sense of everything. And sometimes when you do that, you can take a back seat to maybe your needs and you just have to be aware of those things. But for whatever reason, I lost my chain of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Here you go, Matt. What's one emotion you feel the most right now? I feel a lot of empathy for you guys. Mm. No, you don't, Matt. Do you know what empathy is? <clears throat> yeah. Um, oh I, my I gosh. feel. Um, <laughs> That's so rude. I like. Well, he used it. Made me question his understanding. Joy. Of the term. Joy. Matt, you're a pretty like positive person. Wait the the emotion you feel the most right now is joy. Mm-hmm. Unpack that. Oh my gosh. Love that. Um, I I mean, on all aspects, <clears throat> with our kids, with our family, with time of year, Matt's holiday like, season. Oh, the best you're time jolly. The best. He's like cookies. You're like Santa. <laughs> Honestly, you just feed Matt. He's pretty happy. You, you, are, you, talk. you are really stuffed on Reese's from Halloween. <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now the Christmas trees are out. Okay, Grinch. Christmas tree Reese's are out. Let's give me oh. Game Changer. Oh. Game Changer. Is it's it? just the shape, hope. No, but the I, flavor I just, doesn't no, change. It's a no, lot of, flavor definitely changes. It totally That's for changes. another conversation. Um, we'll take peanut this, butter to chocolate we'll, changes. We can, Matt, take, we can take this offline. Matt, unpack your emotions. I did. I feel it with, I think our kids are at such a fun age. And I'm like enjoying like what, what we're doing with them with sports. And just, yeah. you know, we can talk with them, have conversations. I feel like where we're both at career wise, it's like fun to come home and talk about what we're doing Mm -hmm. and our ambitions. I feel like, um, we have a little more flexibility in our lives, even though our lives are crazy. Mm -hmm. We get to go, we're traveling next week. So that's fun. And I think this is the best time of year. So it is the best time of year. Everything kind of comes together with all those things. And, yeah. Also, yeah. Sorry, can I speak into that? <clears throat> um, I not only love Christmas season, like everything from after Halloween to December 31st, but I, okay, I know I've said this before. I'm a big, like, love Mondays person. I love the new year. Like, I yeah, love I do the too. Star- I love, like, I do feeling not love like Mondays. So, I your love favorite new- day love- of the year would be the first Monday. No, no. I, I don't, like, love Mondays that much, but I mean, I love, like, January feeling like a new start. Like, start something new. You could be anybody you want. Like, yeah. that kind of idea. I know that sounds super dumb, but no. I don't know. I like, I like, like, okay, we, what do you want to do in the next, like, eight weeks? Like, yeah. you can do anything. I mean, you usually don't do it, but who cares? You can like feel a clean like clean slate, yeah. blue skies. Yes. And like Fresh every, start. there's nothing really ahead, like no really major holidays or anything. So it's just like grinding, but like, like readjusting and making it work. I don't yeah. know. I love it. And you're feeling a sense of accomplishment from the year before. Yeah. Like no Hopefully. matter what you went through over the last year, you or, made it, you yes. survived. You're ready for that bad year to be over. Yeah. And you're like new year. It's going to be better than it was last year. Like maybe it's, you know. Not I love New Year's. Yeah, I totally. That's love the New Year's. only thing that doesn't keep me from slipping into a deep depression after Christmas. Yeah. No, I actually kind of like putting away Christmas. I love putting it up, but I like yeah, me too. Putting it away and making everything look clean again. I don't know. It's me. Me okay. too. Matt, you just talked wait, about that. Wait, I I don't mean to make this linger, but what is yours? I'm probably more on the anxiety train. Mm-hmm. You yeah. guys oh, cut know. from the same cloth. More of like I'm an overthinker. I overthink. I'm all. I'm more pessimistic. Preach. Yeah, you are pessimistic. So I can. I think I. I manifest in the like fear and doubt of the things I'm hoping for. Yeah. Um. <laughs> any other questions? She's like totally. Um. One more question, okay. but it's also not funny. Fine. Um. <laughs> You're scrolling take four questions. Um. What is one character trait you're trying to improve or change right now? Oh, no. Me, too me, deep. me. Pick me. Blacey. Oh, my gosh. Too, Here we go. Uh, too deep. Um, I don't even have an answer to that. No, it, it's, it's actually not that deep, but it's something I'm genuinely thinking about Being every on single time. morning. No. Oh. 
<laughs> Waking up ears. early. Yeah. What's early? So wait, wait, wait. Define that as a character trait. Oh. Laziness. Discipline. <laughs> yeah, Discipline. Yeah, like, yeah. Discipline. You're welcome. I, What's early? Well, if you asked me maybe two months ago, early would have been 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, so if you asked early? me to wake up at 8 a.m., I'd be like, 8 a.m.? She's like, so now? So early. <laughs> and now, 6.37. And, okay. and... Well, like wait, we, fine, wait, hold on. Time change. That's basically like saying eight. No, but this, ha- I started this over like maybe two months ago now where I, it was when I went to California for a week and I was like, oh, it's so easy to wake up at seven. I love having my whole day. Yeah. And like, I was like, obviously it's the time change, but coming back here, I was like, I loved waking up that early. And so I really have implemented it and I've done it every day, even on Sundays, Saturdays. Like awesome. I'm up wow. at like no later than 738 and I love it. Okay. That's okay. So I, don't, I don't have that. I'm, it feels I'm like it changes here. things. I don't care what anybody says to all the night people out there. The morning is the best time of day for like personal time, soul searching. It's the best. I don't disagree with that, but I am a My night favorite person. Time of day. I don't disagree with that either. Well, yeah, I do. Because so. when I wake up in the morning, no matter You're what like, time it is, my mind is like on what I have to do. Yeah. Go, There's no go meditation. Get it. There's no personal time. Like I just feel like Who's I'm going to start what? working on my emails yeah. if but, I wake up. And, and But do you know why that is? Because you've conditioned your mind because you stay up late, you sleep until the last possible second and you've done that for 20 years. So you are conditioned to when you wake Do that. up, That's you totally have to go 150 miles an hour. Okay, totally but fair. I also read um, studies before that if you're a night person or morning person, that never changes. That will never change. Wait, That's really? like part of your like so makeup. And so if it's part of your makeup, don't try to like change who you are. Just mm-hmm. optimize the times that you are engaged with whatever. That's so a good word. I'm not saying that you don't, you shouldn't try to wake up early, but I don't feel guilty of like, okay, here's where I've shifted my mindset. At the end of the day, you do need to like take care and give yourself enough energy to mm-hmm. go after the day. So wherever you're, that makes sense, like, eat that time yeah but speaking from anxious mind to anxious mind Mm -hmm. i used to i start work at 9 a.m every day and for the last three years of the company i work for and i used to wait for the last second before i needed to like jump on my like you'd wake up at 8 45 basically yeah no i would wake up at 8 and the moment i wake up i'm like all the emails i have to answer all the things i have to do today like all Mm -hmm. zoned in and it was so anxiety inducing and so stressful and now waking up at seven, two hours before I have to start working gives me that chance to like meditate, slow down. I have like a full 30 minutes with the Lord and like do my devotions. I have my cup of coffee. Yeah. I can get ready. I'm like brushing my teeth and doing like- Yeah, you're like ready to go. Oh, and it starts my day off so well. Yeah. Versus like that last second of being like, what do I have to do today? Running. Yeah. I, I get it. I think there's a lot of other things that speak into it if you like- your position in your company. I think your as a mom and motherhood is very different. Like, I don't know. There's yeah, a lot that speaks into all of those things. Like yeah. sometimes you don't have the option. Like you're up at night because maybe that's the only time no one's talking to you. Right. Like I've been talking to how I feel. nonstop from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And now I want to no one to talk to me from 10 to 11. That's Finally, how I feel. Steve's asleep. Like I'm going to do whatever I want to do for an hour. And yeah. it's like, I know what do you I'm usually getting, do. Um, I'll either like finish the movie that Steve fell asleep, you know, or whatever, or, um, sit on my phone or I don't know, shop. I don't know. Do my devotions. Like there's a lot of things. Okay. Well, here's the difference. I'm not not calling you out on this. The difference right now is your productive hours. Those aren't productive hours. No, but they're needed. You can make them. No, but not only can you make them. And sometimes I do do things like for the podcast or whatever, but I also think there's a, portion of your time that needs to be designated for rest and mental health I like agree. just to do what you want to do like that's not i'm not i'm not going to apologize for that because anymore. Realistically, like if i need to sleep if i need to sit on my phone if i need to do those things if i need no one to talk to me because it helps me feel healthy then do it because yeah. realistically because, no but because realistically like the majority of your day is really productive 
Exactly. Like, oh, when my feet hit the ground, right. I'm nonstop moving. Like the whole right. sitting during so the day, I, I don't sit much. Like I do well, a no, little you, bit. You walk. Like the meat. I walk. <laughs> the meat of your day is very productive. You're getting a lot done. So the hours you can either take in the morning or at uh, night, or okay. like depending on who you are, are really valuable. I don't mean to make this. This is just me. I'm a woman. I'm a mom. I'm a war. I, I, I'm an employee. Okay. Oh, okay. But like whether, You're if I'm sister. never not doing anything, like I am working i am doing stuff for the kids i i'm like non-stop i'm like i'm doing something i all feel the time. that way i'm n- i'm never just like let me just everyone sit on needs the couch something for me at all times all- yes i'm not just even if it's not work someone else needs something from you and it's like i'm not just like sitting on my I phone i can't wait till that like 10 p.m yeah the totally. whole house is asleep but now i will say like i help steve takes the kid to, kids to school and so i get the kids out the door and then i do have kind of that hour built in all already that like mm-hmm. i can sit on my phone with my coffee and kind of like, like even while we podcast you're these taking, people okay do we want to do some rapid fire i see some of your questions no i we have to do a whole nother episode about this that's great I really wanted to talk to you guys about these things because i actually think well we'll have to come back will you this week because you're yeah, leaving we town will. during the right week place? absolutely okay tuesday <laughs> you, you have to come back for not sure. a question Listen, All right. I this was, All right, this, sign us off. No, the host will sign off. Oh, yeah, off. you're Matt. right. The Charlay and Blessing. <laughs> Guys, I just want to apologize in advance for the amount that we all talked over each other. I think I yelled. said 17 so words this podcast. This yeah, was, I don't think Matt really spoke. And good content. Th- th- honestly, the viewers are sick of your voice. And this is the sisters takeover. This is what the people want. I am I, I'll have you know, I get a lot of people defending me. Mm. Who? We'll people, on one people like Matt. You're all covered. Okay, platform. guys, you want to hear a really, mm-hmm. really interesting thing? Shar is our number one hater on social media. Do you have what? She goes on and she I've probes people. No. Oh, yeah. No, you're not hating it on. <laughs> you, you hate have, on like, us. Do you have like fake accounts or your commentation? No, she I use people. mine. She's like, Jerry, tell me more about how you, th- what no, do you think about Matt? He, he said something about, um, the, something about the red hair. She's like, which redhead? And I was like, which one? Which one? Which one? They was talking about one of you. And I was like, wait, which redhead are you talking about? He's like, Char goes on TikTok and Trolls. YouTube. And she just like. I troll the troller. Talks to whoever's like hating on us and tries to get more out of them. <laughs> Do they ever respond? Yes, yeah, sometimes. And then we yeah. have a look. <laughs> They're like, she's one of us. We got to start reading the negative Marks, so they're oh, so, they're so funny. They're so funny. They're honestly one of the best Don't parts. Don't delete them. Keep my them. favorite post I have a I've new ever one. read. Show my, fo- my favorite comment I've ever read is the one about Just remember, scenes. these people can vote. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, no, I can't actually. No, no I can't. <laughs> my favorite one <laughs> was when they were like, why does that girl hang out with them? And I'm like, she's because we're related. Um, uh, am, am I the girl? Yeah. Why, does she, why do I hate And they're like, that girl needs help. And I'm like, she isn't there. Just but. remember these people can vote. They oh. hated the, uh, oh, it was me. It was on me actually, because I was one that brought up the iPhones exploding. Oh yeah. yeah. The people hated that. No, they loved it. A to lot of people fair, were like, that's the only reason why I'll coming, buy iPhones. Coming from a fellow voter. <laughs> my phone was also scorching my hands. <laughs> how many, how many Me? years or uh, elections have you voted in? Two. Really? That's it? Yeah. Who'd you vote for? Oh my God. I, can't sure, how many, how I, think, I think also how two. Many? Really? <laughs> well. Three, babe. You didn't vote for I, You didn't vote Obama's election? Three, three. You didn't no, vote No, I was in South Africa. Oh yeah. And I don't think I'm old enough. I was 17. You might've like been turning 18 that next year. One, this Obama second, um, and who's after Obama? Trump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that crazy? Trump, yeah, Trump and then Biden. So yeah, three. Yeah, I think I was only three. I was. That no, feels was wild three. to me because I feel like it's been more than that. I know. Eight years. I ago. can't believe we're actually already approaching another election season. <gasps> we can't talk about politics. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Offline. Yeah. Okay. Offline. All right. Well. Signing off. I didn't get to any of my questions, that but that note. means we're going to get another episode out of the both of you. Commit now. Commit. Ooh. Yeah, we're in. The sisters okay. take Wiggy, 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 wiggy. And we're off. Bye, guys. Bye.